I'm going to go over the steps to install a Fluid Master fill valve. This is their Performax 400H. This will work with all types of toilets, older toilets, and high efficiency toilets. The Performax will adjust from 9 to 14 inches. Then you can adjust the float to get the right amount of water in the toilet tank for the best flushing. You can also adjust the amount of water in the bowl. And this is very important for high efficiency toilets. If you don't have enough water in the bowl, it will not flush properly. To figure out the height of the water in the bowl, take a bucket and slowly pour water into the bowl until it stops rising. If you pour it in too fast, it will just flush the bowl. So pour water in slowly. At some point, it's going to reach the top of the trap. And if you keep pouring, it's just going to stay at that height. That's the height we need. We need the water to the top of the trap, especially with high efficiency toilets, 1.28 gallons per flush or less. If we don't have water to the top of the trap, it won't flush well. After you find the height of the water in the bowl, take a pencil and mark that height inside the bowl. When we adjust our fill valve, we want to make sure it's stopping at this height when it turns off filling the tank. So we want it to stop filling the tank at the right height and the bowl at the same time. Turn off the water going to the toilet. You're going to turn the handle on the shutoff valve clockwise. And now flush the toilet. Hold down the handle so you get as much water out of the tank as possible. There's going to be a small amount of water in the tank. You can use a sponge to get it up, a wet dry vac, or you can just put a small bucket underneath the fill valve and as you take off the supply line, it'll drain into the bucket. Remove the supply line from the old fill valve by turning it counterclockwise. On the bottom of the old fill valve there's a nut. Sometimes you're able to remove this just by hand or use an adjustable pliers. Once you've removed the nut you can pull out the old fill valve and it'll drain into your bucket if you didn't remove the water with a wet dry vac or a sponge. There may be a clip holding the fill tube to the flush valve. Just remove that and lift out the old fill valve. The tube on the flush valve should be one inch below the hole for the handle. And this is going to prevent the tank from overflowing. If a fill valve goes bad and it keeps filling the tank, water will go down this tube and into the bowl. Remove the nut on the new fill valve and make sure the rubber washer has the flared side pointing down. We're going to adjust the main body of the fill valve. There's a band on top marked CL. This is our critical level. We want this band to be one inch above that tube on the flush valve. And we're going to adjust this just by turning the shaft. So you can turn this, set it into the tank, and keep adjusting it until this critical level is one inch above the tube on the flush valve. Once you've adjusted the height you want, make sure it's positioned so it doesn't come in contact with the handle. Now put on the nut to the fill valve underneath the tank. You can tighten this nut by hand, just make sure it's very snug. And you can test it after you've used the toilet a few times. If there's a small leak, you can put a quarter turn on this with an adjustable pliers. But you don't want to over tighten this. Before I connect my supply line to the new fill valve, I'm just going to bleed some water into a bucket just to make sure I have good water pressure and get rid of any debris that could be caught in the valve. Especially if you're in an area that has galvanized pipes, sometimes you shake loose some debris. Now connect your supply line to the fill valve. You want this hand tight, very snug. Don't over tighten it.
connect this fill tube to the flush valve, you want to make sure that the water is going down this tube. This is the water that's filling the bowl. First thing we're going to do is turn on the shutoff valve and see how high the water is in the tank. I want the water to stop just about a half an inch below the top of this tube for the best flush. And I'm going to adjust that level with this thumb turn that's connected to the float. We'll let it fill first and see where it stops. It stopped a little low. I'm going to turn this clockwise so that it puts a little bit more water into the tank. And that's pretty close. I might actually turn this down a little bit and we'll flush it again. I want it about a half an inch below the top of that tube. Now I'm going to adjust the water in the bowl. I want the fill valve to turn off right as the water reaches that line that we put in the bowl. It looks like it's reached the line in the bowl, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the valve that's putting water into the bowl. You can turn this lever clockwise for less water in the bowl or filling slower. You can turn it counterclockwise for more water into the bowl. You want this to turn off right when the water reaches that line in our bowl so that we're not wasting water. And we want to make sure it's high enough so we get the best flush. The Performax is easy to install and it's going to work with older and the new high efficiency toilets.